And today... Whoa, what the f was that? Hello guys, in today's first video we are guests in the lamb house again and will analyze some brand new captures that Kent on his channel Ghosts of Carmel Main has caught. The following events happen during the day, which is the most active time for mysterious happenings in Kent's home. Like many times before, Kent is being lured upstairs because some inexplicable noises are catching his attention. Kent is sure that in the next clip he has captured another shadow apparition that was standing at the doorway and disappears towards the left into the wall. Watch closely now and let me know if you can see anything. This definitely could be a torso and an arm, but it could also just be an effect caused by the gamma of the camera. The pixelation sure doesn't help. Is there any particular reason why you're waiting by this basement door? What's going on down there? Usually that's not a good sign. After this incident, Kent notices that his cat is sitting in front of the basement door and suspects that some form of energy is waiting for him downstairs. Maybe. been a long time since I've been down here. Ken tries to make contact with whatever is waiting for him in the basement today, which he has also done in the past. Who's down here right now? And besides several EVPs, he captures an apparition that passes him by in the corner. Whoa, what the f*** was that? Yeah. The shadow apparition seems to be jumping, one might say like the devil himself even. A coincidence, maybe an indicator of the negative nature of this apparition. What makes this all a bit worse is the fact that Kent felt something touching him on his arm. He then thinks about making a quick escape, but isn't fully sure if he just should go for it. But Kent was in for a night full of surprises. In this video, he tried to contact the spirit world while lying in pitch darkness in his bedroom. There was a thunderstorm outside and Kent states that he saw little flashes of lights in his home. Everybody in here? Alright, I'm going to sleep. Nobody wants to talk. Could it be the lightning-like lights he was mentioning? Then, what appears to be an orb passes by the camera. Whatever was with him in the room wanted to make Kent aware of its presence. Give me 
Then one last time, Ken turns around to film his bedroom, after feeling uneasy and getting up from his bed. Wow. For me it's clear that this is the same apparition that we saw earlier in Kent's basement. Please let me know what you guys think. Our next video was captured by a CCTV camera in a mall. The story goes that neither the security staff nor customers could see what was going on at the time. Myself, I'm actually not too sure what exactly happened that particular day. And it left me with an eerie feeling. Notice how the security guard controlling the mouse makes us aware of a childlike figure that was captured in the security footage. It is an unusual thin shape that reminds me a lot of a shadow figure. The movement as well is pretty odd. I've never seen many people moving like that. See how the girl just stands still. This goes on for several moments in which we don't see the shadow move once. To me the shape at this point looks way more like a human than moments earlier. Security staff stated that they could not see the girl in person in the actual mall. But then there is a guard who, in my opinion, notices the girl sitting on the ground very clearly. But I have no idea what exactly happens next. It baffles my mind. The shape follows two customers, phases through one of them and disappears at the end of the hallway. How do you explain this phenomena? Was it simply a little girl? And this whole video just a hoax? How else could the customers just walk past the shape? In this video, we are following a man who is documenting some unusual knocking noises and activity in his apartment. He started recording right after the inexplicable event started. A bit unnerved, he checks the window several times and even the backyard. What do you think? The knocking noises get more intense after a couple of minutes and even the entrance door seems to get in on the pretty unusual rambling. Of course he can't find anybody who could be causing this.
Back in the house, he peeks one last time out of his blinds. Was it a person that was just standing there? How could he get around the house that fast? Hmm. Hey guys, if you wish to support me to enjoy many more videos, please consider becoming a member and joining my channel. You'll get custom emojis for my live streams and other exciting perks. Tonight we are following Franco TV to a cemetery, which he decided to explore by himself, like he mostly does. But today was a bit different, he captured something really curious. When Franco is walking by, close to a crypt, he notices that someone was sitting in there. What? Holy... There is somebody legit inside the room. Indeed, zooming in and applying a filter makes it easier for us to realize that an old lady is sitting in this little chapel on a chair. Really eerie. Franco is a bit nervous, but keeps walking. I don't think that this was anything paranormal, but it is still pretty off-putting that somebody would sit in total darkness in a cemetery. And just when Franco was checking for more interesting activity, he comes across the lady again, sitting in the distance. What could be the reason for this? Was she talking to a relative, maybe? Perhaps she just had dementia. Let me know how you guys would have felt in Franco's position. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and stay frosty.